Hey everyone, happy Memorial Day. You gotta check this out. Cherry Coca-Cola marinated baby back ribs on the Oklahoma Joe. Up next. So let's first start by trimming some of the fat from the meat. Now these are baby back, so uh, they can, uh, you can either remove the membrane or you can score them. Like that. So you're gonna to wanna to marinate the ribs for four to six hours. Let's make the marinade. We're gonna start with a cup of brown sugar, a 20 ounce bottle of ketchup, a bottle of cherry Coke, a 12 ounce bottle of chili sauce, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, a teaspoon of garlic powder, A teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two tablespoons of dried mustard or ground mustard, and two tablespoons of ground pepper, black pepper. All right, let's get our marinade together. Start out with ketchup. Bottle of cherry coke. Bottle of chili sauce, 12 ounces. Teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Cup of brown sugar. Teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Two tablespoons of ground mustard. And two tablespoons of ground black pepper. And we'll mix this all together. So we're gonna marinate the ribs in this and then we're gonna use this as a basting sauce while the ribs are on the smoker. Later on, we're gonna add some honey to this, some cherry jelly, and we're gonna actually try, to try this Kansas City uh, seasoning rub on the ribs, but that'll come later. So first, we're gonna make this marinade, stir this together really well. Super simple. Okay, we'll put this in the refrigerator and let it set for about four to six hours. All right, let's fire up the Oklahoma Joe. I always start. I always start with a bed of charcoals. Then I'm going to add my wood to that. We're going to be using cherry wood, and I've got some apple wood. Okay, we got a good burn going here. Let's close this down, and we're going to start bringing the temp up to about 250 to 275. So while we're waiting for our smoker to come up to temp, which I'm shooting for around 275, let's get our ribs prepped. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna save the marinade because we're gonna end up using it as a basting sauce. So let's separate that.
we'll set this aside. And let's put a little seasoning on here. I'm using this Kansas City, it's called Kansas City Inspired Seasoning Rub. Uh, sweet and smoky with molasses, tomato, chipotle pepper, ankle pepper, tella cherry black pepper. So we're gonna go real easy with this, just give it a light coating. Good enough for me. Okay, the fire has finally stabilized. We're about 275 degrees. We've got a nice blue smoke coming out of the chimney. You can barely see it, but this is an excellent setup. All right, let's put these ribs on. Let's hit them with a little bit more rub. Okay, in about two hours, we're gonna start basting. Now we wait. We're gonna use a little cherry coke for our spritzer. You can use vinegar, a little bit of vinegar and uh, apple cider or straight apple cider but these are cherry cola ribs so we're gonna spritz with some cherry cola it's been an hour and 15 minutes still got that awesome blue smoke coming out we're hovering about 240 degrees let's spritz these ribs with some cherry coke to see some pullback just a little bit okay let's get our marinade ready we're gonna put this on the firebox and get it to simmer so we're gonna add the marinade in I'm gonna add probably about a about a cup of jelly preserve. A couple tablespoons of honey. This is gonna be our basting sauce. Okay, let's get our marinade on. So, and we're gonna put it right down here in the fire, like that. I'll give it a little stir every few minutes. So we're gonna bring this up to a simmer, maybe for about 10 minutes or so. This will kill any bacteria or any microorganisms that were transferred uh, from, the, from the ribs, since we did use this to marinate our ribs. And in about, probably about a half hour or so, we're gonna start basting our ribs with this. While we're at it, you can never go wrong with beer. Let's throw a little beer in the mix. Oh yeah. I'll drink the rest. Okay, let's take a look. This has been simmering for about 15 minutes. Let's transfer it to a clean bowl. OK, 
Okay, well, let's set this aside. All right, let's rotate these a little bit. Okay, let's do a little basting here. I tasted this uh, this marinade. Man, I'll tell you what, this stuff is delicious. And this is gonna make an amazing layer of flavor on these ribs. All right, we'll come back in about another 45 minutes and baste some more. Okay, we're coming up on four hours. Let's baste one more time. A mop would really a mop would really work well. That's what's we're basically we're just mopping these things here. Oh man, it smells so good. And this uh, marinade, it's got a little kick to it. Don't forget, we put cayenne pepper in there, and we put some red pepper flakes. So it's got a little spice to it. Okay, it's been a little over five hours. I'm just using this as a, a probe to check it. And the meat is very, very tender. Slides right in. Yeah, these are, look at that, these are definitely done. Let's pull these and we'll let them rest for about 15 minutes. And then we'll try them out. Okay, the ribs have been on the smoker for five hours. They've been resting for about 20 minutes. Let's check these out. Oh, will you look at that? Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. Wow, those babies are tender. Look at that. Nice. All right, let's give it a try. Here it goes. You know what? That's an amazing rib. That is excellent rib. It's tender. It's pull off the bone. It's not fall off the bone. You get that, just an array of flavors with that marinade that we made and the cherry coke that was in there, and the cherry spray that we spritzed with. This is excellent, this is an excellent rib. This, this recipe is in my books to stay. Check this out, you won't be disappointed. This is excellent.